Hi and welcome to a new Decred news update. Lots of updates to talk about, just recently Decred version 1.6.3 was released. This release adds the initial integration of the DCR DEX into Decred's wallet to Crediton. It makes setting up the DEX much easier than before, prompting the user to create a specific DEX account, password, and requiring the user to connect their Bitcoin wallet. A Bitcoin full node must be running. It's important to understand that running your own Bitcoin wallet and node is what makes the entire process trustless allows you to have self-custody of your assets. Remember, the DEX works using peer-to-peer -peer atomic swaps, whereby coins are traded directly from one user's wallet to another. The DEX is simply coordinating these trades. There are a few existing bugs in the Windows configuration that should be resolved soon enough. The DEX tab only appears if you run your wallet without SPV mode on. Go to the Settings tab to turn off SPV mode if you want to see the DEX tab. Work is progressing on adding SPV mode for Bitcoin, which should make getting on the DEX much quicker and easier for those not wanting to download and sync a Bitcoin full node. The DEX requires an always unlocked wallet in order to perform its operations. Thus, to increase security, DCR Wallet has introduced a per-account locking mode. Instead of completely unlocking the wallet, only specific accounts may be selected for unlocking, preventing funds from other accounts from being drained in case of certain tax scenarios. This is also helpful for ticket buying and privacy-enabled wallets. Only those accounts remain unlocked during their respective operations. To enable this behavior, during the first startup in version 1.6.3, the credit town will ask for the wallet's current private passphrase and will use the same passphrase for every account. Initial server-side Ethereum asset support has been merged on the DEX, as well as UI and usability enhancements. Other improvements in 1.6.3 include fixing situations which cause unexpected low balance bugs when purchasing tickets with a VSP. Reliability improvements were made to ensuring that fees are correctly paid to the VSP. This will result in lower missed ticket rates. Fixes were also made to the automated ticket buyer, bugs with individual encrypted accounts, and a data race dealing with the synchronization of managing locked outputs. The first Decred T spend from the treasury of 0.1 DCR has finished voting was successfully spent. Moving forward, all spending from the treasury will be voted on explicitly by stakeholders. Voting on treasury spends is currently only available to command line users, though integration into Decrediton should be here in the near future to allow those users to cast their votes. The first spend had 6,755 yes votes and just one no vote. Two-factor authentication support has been added to Decred's proposal platform, Politea. Just go to the settings tab to set it up. The Decred mobile wallets have also been updated. The Decred mobile wallets have been updated to the latest version and now include the stake shuffle mixing feature, allowing mobile users to participate in privacy and mix their coins by turning on the mixer. The mobile wallets also now display Politea proposals in the wallet's Decred value in US dollars. The upcoming desktop wallet GoDCR has had a number of additions, such as an initial dark mode implementation, a tickets overview, tickets list, and restore wallet. There is also a max button for setting the maximum DCR amount that can be sent. There's also loading animations and language translation infrastructure. Now let's look at network stats. 45% of the Decred supply is currently in a mixed output. This number is now displayed on the explore.dcrdata.org front page. There is nearly 13 million coins in circulation, with of course a 21 million coin cap. A new staking participation all-time high of 58.6% Decred has been reached. Ticket prices have once again dropped to around 178 Decred per ticket, after falling from a price of 198. Now let's look at community updates. Decred founder Jake Okampaya was interviewed by Dominic Frisbee on his YouTube channel. Tell me your aims for the project over the next year. Um, there's, there's technological oh. things that you've already outlined. A whole bunch more uh, listing uh, uh, trading pairs on the decks. Um, we're going to be have adding uh, post quantum uh, post quantum secure mixing pretty soon. So that should be fun. That means that even if a big world government were to have a quantum computer at scale somewhere underground, they can't undo these mixes, which should be you know irksome. I, I expect. Um, let's see what else we're we're going to be add we're going to be doing some more consensus changes that have to do with um or at least putting them up and seeing if, if people you know support them that have to do with um adding schnorr support and potentially taproot support i say potentially because taproot is obviously schnorr plus a lot of other stuff so uh whether we get all of that in there we're going to start with schnorr because we we feel like that's a sure thing we're probably we're going to be moving towards a mesh network for the mixing and uh, so for the privacy privacy slash mixing and for the decks those are currently have centralized servers but you know, the, the, the real path forward, and I mentioned this before we're in terms of the how, the how is, is that you make it non-custodial, then you make a server mesh, and then you make sure incentives are aligned. And, and I, we're moving towards the, the mesh network part of the privacy and the, uh, and the, and the exchange.
When Satoshi Nakamoto designed Bitcoin, one of his key aims was to create a money system that had no central point of failure. Previous alternative money systems, he argued, such as DigiCash and DigiGold, had failed because there was a central company, a central office, a central body that could be shut down. And when that office was shut down, the system came tumbling down with it. So, intrinsic to Bitcoin's design was that the system functioned on a distributed network on multiple computers in multiple jurisdictions around the world. With a decentralised autonomous organisation, a DAO like Bitcoin, there is no central body to close down or tax. These organisations operate on distributed blockchain networks with no company HQ, no formal organisation at the centre, no base in any jurisdiction and no central point of failure. Their currencies are their own issued tokens, digital crypto money existing outside fiat economies. Their platforms and businesses are automated by code, often written on an auto open source basis. One vehicle is to look at the coins on, when, on which many of these platforms will be built, the likes of Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot. I have a fondness for a little known coin by the name of Decred, short for Decentralised Credits, which you can buy at crypto exchanges such as Binance, Poloniex and Bittrex. Why do I like Decred? It's underhyped and the dev team is superb. There are there maybe 30 or 40 exceptional developers in the crypto space and six or seven of them work on Bitcoin. A good three or four of them are in Decred. We also had news media generated around the recent Decred releases with the help of Decred contractor Lindsay McConaughey of Mon PR, including an article in Brave New Coin featuring news about the decentralized treasury activation, an article in Coindesk featuring commentary by Decred developer Luke Powell about his experience at Consensus. The DCR DEX integration announcement was covered by Bankless Times and Crowdfund Insider. The Crowdfund Insider article was syndicated to Crypto News BTC, MCC Exchange, and Money Now. The announcement was also covered by Crypto Nexa, Crypto Noticias, and Crypto News. The Crypto News article was syndicated to IQ Stock Market. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin suggested Bitcoin switch to a hybrid proof-of-stake, proof-of-work mining system. The odds of Bitcoin ever doing this are basically zero, given there is no governance model, and even the smallest changes to the protocol are incredibly political and difficult to implement. Decred already provides a hybrid proof-of-work, proof-of-stake mining system. It's the primary feature of the chain, and we've already had multiple successful on-chain consensus votes and have never been 51% attacked in Decred's five-year history. People looking to use a hybrid system should probably check out an already established project like Decred. Decred Society has released two new Decred Fundamental Series videos. One of the unique values and properties of a good cryptocurrency is a fixed maximum supply. This is in complete contrast to what we see in our fiat currencies, where supply is infinite and money printing has become more frequent over the last 10 years. Decred has a maximum supply of 21 million coins, similar to that of Bitcoin. These coins are mined into existence every five minutes until the full supply is realized in 2120. By 2027, the bulk of the supply will be in circulation, approximately 19 million. The remaining 2 million coins will produce slowly over the next 100 years. When the coin supply slows down in 2027, we'll start to see how a low inflation currency can hold up to the promise so many of us believe. As the project grows and it gains more users and use cases, we can turn this calculation on its head and start thinking about atoms rather than DCR. For example, instead of saying 0.0001 DCR, we can say 10,000 atoms, which makes a lot more sense to most people. In most governance systems, the community is very much overlooked as being insignificant. In rough consensus, every time a major upgrade happens, the community is cut in half. In the real world, every time a mundane decision is made, like where the allocation of your tax money will go, the people are not referred to. In these systems, governance refers to the few, and in most cases, these are not the same few that helped build the project in the first place and stayed around through the hard times. It's important to realize that a community is made up of lots of smaller factions, all of which are very much needed. So these could include the core developers who implemented the original design and who are continuing to help make the system better and evolve it over time, the miners who secure the system, the node operators who keep the system up to date and running, other team members or other teams, development teams, who help build use cases for the project and make it more functional, 
coin holders who put money into the system and help it grow. And then finally, the community outreach members who help get the word out, report bugs, and help inform good decision-making and awareness for the project. So it's important to realize that Decred built in governance into the system from the very beginning. This was after experiencing the rough end of Bitcoin's rough consensus. So the Decred core team realized that if the space was going to grow, the software would need to be upgraded in a coordinated fashion and as required. The outcome of having to undergo a community fracture for each of these upgrades was just not acceptable. With this in mind, the aim was to make sure that everyone who had skin in the game would have a say. There hasn't been much activity on Politea lately besides the Politea development proposal passing. If you have any ideas to improve Decred, feel free to submit your own proposal on Politea. The Politea development proposal passed with 98% voter approval. Over 18,000 votes were cast, which means there was a voter turnout of 44%. Thanks for watching this Decred news update. Be sure to check out Decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.